Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while, I've not made a video in about six months I think, probably maybe even longer. But Lemorelli, this brand here, they sent me this USB-C hub, multi-port adapter they call it. So I thought I would check it out and make a video about it. So it claims to be six in one, it's got three USB-3 ports, like USB-A size. It has an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot and a HDMI port. And it obviously connects over USB-C doesn't have any charging on it, nothing like that, it's quite simple um, it's 23 99 on Amazon, something like that so we'll have a look at it, see if it's worth it but I guess in 2021 you have to wonder, does anyone even need dongles anymore? as you've seen with Apple's most recent uh, laptop announcements that they've brought back HDMI and SD cards which that's basically most of what this thing does so is it really worth it in this day and age? I don't know. I, I got an iPad Pro that has one USB-C port only. I got a MacBook Air that has only two USB-C ports. So probably it's going to be a market for a while. And I guess we'll see whether other manufacturers follow suit of Apple and uh, bring back some of the ports. But for now, we'll have a look to see if this is any use. Um, and yeah, I will try and get it open. I can't be bothered to go find my knife. Okay, here we go. There is some documentation in here, but I can't imagine you're going to need much info on this. There's a bookmark, which says I am your bookmark. It's handy, I guess, if you read a lot of books. Um, but yeah, here it is. This is the hub. Um, it's Again, like I said, there's not much to it. The cable, the cable is quite short, but yeah, you can see it's USB-C on this end. And then you've got your 1, 2, 3 USB-A ports, SD card slot, micro SD, and HDMI. Um, I like the colour, it matches my MacBook nicely. So here is my MacBook Air, here is the hub, you can see they match very nicely. Um, so I'm going to plug it in and we'll test out a few things and see if it's any good. Okay, so here we have my MacBook Air and the dongle. Um, so I'm just going to plug that in first. So that's nice and clicky, that's in. Um, so we will try HDMI first. Okay, so I've connected a HDMI cable to the dongle and I'm just going to plug it into the MacBook Air now. Um, so we'll see if it works. Okay, so it's plugged in. You can see it's refreshing. And now this monitor here is now connected to my MacBook Air. Uh, so that's working fine. That's good. Um, so now we'll try a few USB devices. We'll pull out an SD card first. Okay, so the SD card has come up and I have access to my stuff. So I'm just going to try a quick transfer, see how long that takes. I don't actually know what speed the SD card slot is because again, there's no specs listed on the product, but it's saying about 10 minutes for 18 gig of photos. So I'm just going to cancel that, but it's good to know. Okay, so not having much luck with micro SD cards, but I'm inclined to believe that that's a problem with my cards because the normal SD card reader is working fine. So we will move on from that. Quick interruption. If you're enjoying the video, give me a like and a comment and please do subscribe. That really helps me out. Now, back to the video. Okay, so let's plug in some memory sticks. Okay, so pretty much everything is coming up. We've got the display working fine. We've got all three memory sticks and my micro SD and my we've got all three memory sticks and the SD card coming up. So yeah, I mean everything's working as expected, which is not a surprise. Dongles are quite a mature business now, so you know, they should be working at this point. But yeah, it's good to see that everything works. Thumbs up from me. Um, so yeah, you can see from the video that it does work as intended. Um, it's a little bit pricey at 23 99 for what it does. Saying 6 in 1 as well, I think that's a bit of a misnomer because two of the things are just different sized SD cards. So I'm not really sure you can call that 6 in 1. I would, I would more put it as a 5 in 1. Um, I like that it has three USB 3 ports. Not many of these hubs have that. And actually, the USB-A ports are probably what makes this product now because... That's the one thing the new MacBook Pros still don't have is any old USB-A ports. Um, so if you're someone who relies on those kind of devices, this is still going to be an invaluable tool. Um, but yeah, as I was saying at the start of the video, dongles in 2021, still pretty useful. 2022, we'll have to wait and see because as we all know, when Apple does something, the rest of the industry tends to follow. So people will probably slowly start bringing back ports now, uh, which will be funny to see. 
Um, but for now, yeah, this is a pretty good product. Um, and thanks to Limorel for sending it out to me. They are supposed to give me a discount code for my subscribers, which I will leave in the description. If they didn't do that, then I'll mention that as well. But <laughs> they should have done that anyway. Um, yeah, I didn't take any money for this review. They just sent me the product. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to come in handy. Uh, it does work with the iPad Pro as well as my MacBook. Basically any USB-C device. It can be pretty handy and I'll probably keep this as part of my travel bag because it's nice and compact and it can come in handy in a pinch. But yeah, so thanks guys. Sorry if the video is a bit rough, it's been my first one in a long time. Uh, but it's fun being back and yeah, if you liked what you saw, stay tuned for more and hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.